Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 9. So The Flash is about to hit the halfway point of filming for its final season. As we do know, it is only 13 episodes long and they are about halfway through episode 6 at this point roughly, with of course episode 7 being that halfway point. Now, we haven't got that much coming out officially from the CWs or, you know, Warner Brothers TV. Did I just say the CWs? Anyway, the CW or Warner Brothers TV in regards to the show, but... You know, that's because it's still a couple of, um, of months away from airing. It would be weird if they started to release stuff now. Outside of, like, maybe casting. But even then, I think they're not going out of the way unless it's, like, a massive return. Or, like, a big character. But, yeah, we are approaching December. Because it's November 20th, I think, today from when this video will come out. So, that's usually when we get the schedule for the mid-season release of shows on multiple networks. Some have already released them, so the CW should do it in December. And of course, the Flash should be one of those mid-season releases. So we not, we, you know, we might know within like the next couple of weeks, if not a week, uh, exactly when the Flash is coming back, like an exact date, everything like that, for the last time for its ninth season. But this video isn't about that information because that would be a waste of time. What weird type of video to make if it was just about that? Instead, we actually have some stuff regarding episode six, the episode they are currently filming, which we have heard is a bottle episode, which usually means that it's effectively a money saver essentially where it's like only filmed in really like one maybe two contained areas for the most part with only some of the cast being in the episode but we did have a bottle episode last season and that was the allegra episode uh which was like episode was it 16 or 17 uh and that main story obviously wasn't very good with allegra in the in the newspaper and stuff like that uh but also in that episode we had barry investigating the new speedster in central city which did end up of course being mina darwan but this had him going to leanne you to visit thorn and having that all those scenes and everything like that so that could be similar in this episode you know a contained episode with something larger on the side but i guess it depends who the focus is within the actual episode seeing it's only a 13 episode final season i would hope to the lord bebo that it focuses on barry but i do have a feeling a side character may be the focus and that's just if I tap into my knowledge of Eric Wallace, the showrunner, and how he goes about things. But that's a wait and see in regards to who of the main cast gets the focus. I mean, fingers crossed you'd hope it's Barry, seeing we only got 13 episodes. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's one of the side characters. But that could mean maybe the side thing is similar to last season where Barry's doing something bigger, which then leads into the next storyline on the show. Probably the final storyline the show is going to do. But in regards to characters that will be in this episode, the sixth episode they're currently filming now, we do know of a returning character who we all thought to be dead because we literally saw them die on screen back in season four. So their return is pretty random unless there is maybe some time travel involved. And this could maybe allow other characters we thought unlikely to return, uh, unlikely to return to be a possibility to actually show up, especially if they were dead. But as you can see on screen, we do have a screenshot of an Instagram story post thing from Danny Nicolette who of course plays to seal on the show and just in like the hair and makeup trailer of the you know of the flash where we can also see the actress that plays Allegra but we also have a random but very familiar face of Sugar Lynn Beard who we haven't seen since season four and she of course played Becky Sharp aka Hazard in the episode Luck Be A Lady as well as some follow-on episodes then um you know in that DeVoe storyline but like her introductory episode was I think it was Luck Be A Lady. I think that's what it was called. Now, she was, of course, one of the bus metahumans, but she also ended up being taken over by DeVoe and being killed. If you don't remember, they were all in prison in the back half of season four after Barry was sort of framed for DeVoe's murder. They do like a prison break, but DeVoe gets there just in time and like kills all the other metas and takes their powers and then puts his consciousness with all those powers within Becky. So she was DeVoe for a certain amount of episodes. I can't remember how many. I just know that she was DeVoe for a certain amount of time. So her being back is a surprise for that sole reason alone. The fact that she was killed in that whole DeVoe storyline. Now, it is, of course, important to remember that since season four, and I guess also season five, like we have mentioned in regards to other events leading to a character like Red Death showing up, the crisis has happened. There's been a reset in the timeline, a reset in the multiverse, a reset on this earth that Barry is on. So there could be little minor events in the scope of the show that weren't brought up as like overly important that were different in this post-crisis timeline that we are going to see out, you know, going to see play out and, you know, further in this final season. So Becky being alive, it's a big thing for Becky, but in the context of Barry and how he goes about things, it's not like Cisco was alive and now he's dead or that his dad is now alive again. It's not a big part of Barry's life. So it'd be weird if we knew it before this moment. 
So it could be that maybe she was taken over like she was in season four by DeVoe, but that process didn't kill her. Uh, maybe just put her in a controlled state by DeVoe, or it could be something even simpler and that just that she was never a part of the, Devo of the DeVoe bus metahuman storyline stuff. Like she still has powers. Maybe she got them back in the events of season one like Barry did. So that would allow her to mess around with her powers, but also not be dead due to DeVoe within this episode. That's a decent possibility. One other thing of note is that she is wearing the casino outfit that she wore in season four. Like I didn't realize this when I first saw the photo and then I was thinking back to that episode in season four, but she's wearing that. And that of course was a nod to her comic book outfit, which is very classic, but she only wore that in the opening scene of that episode when she gets, you know, fired from her job and then she gets on the bus and gets the powers from the whole bus incident. That's the only time she wears that outfit from memory, but She's wearing that in the Instagram story. So maybe they're going for a fully comic book accurate version in season nine where she actually wears that outfit or I don't know, something like that. Or maybe she just has her powers but still works at the casino. I don't know. But her abilities in the show back in season four were just her powers in the comics that she was getting used to in the show. They weren't different. They were pretty much the exact same. But the fully comic accurate part could just be that she wears the outfit all the time when going about her, I was going to say criminal ways, but Becky Shark in the comics was never really evil. It was almost out of like, she was almost bad out of necessity due to her family connections, which we'll bring back up in a second and just other events surrounding that. So she could be like an ally of Team Flash in this episode. Also, it's important to remember that she wasn't really bad in the show in season four. She was just someone with extremely bad luck who got some luck for once due to these powers and tried to take advantage of that, which most people probably would have done. So... It would actually be a big switch if they made her super evil and nefarious or anything like that. Now, one thing that I did see people questioning because she was wearing the suit or the, the casino outfit or work dress is this time travel. Is it back to those events in season four where she was still working there and maybe she just plays into the storyline in some way? Could be even earlier. It could be in season two and she's still working there and she just plays into the storyline somehow. That's definitely a possibility because bring like time travel is easier than bringing back someone from the dead because bringing Becky back alive questions the whole DeVoe storyline and it, it didn't play out like we did in season four but if they just time travel back to season two or season three where she's working at the casino then it doesn't really mess meddle with anything as long as they don't mess up Becky's life too much to the point where it wouldn't lead to her getting her powers like she did in season four so time travel is definitely a possibility and I actually will bring up something time travel related as well because there's something else, which we'll get to. Now, I'd be weird if I didn't mention how it's sort of funny that she's showing up in this final season because on Stargirl this season, we had the, I guess, spoiler, but we had the death of the gambler, which is a major part of the storyline. But Becky is involved. That's Becky, like Rebecca Sharp we're seeing here, is the daughter of Stephen Sharp, the gambler on Stargirl. So the show was potentially setting up this character appearing on Stargirl, maybe, maybe next season or something like that, if it did get renewed and wasn't cancelled. So it's sort of weird that now she's showing up on The Flash. Weird connections there. Now, does bringing Becky back to life potentially open the door to other, you know, thought to be dead characters, I guess, coming back as well? And I would say yes, if that's the case. As I said, time travel could definitely be an option, especially due to the fact she's wearing that outfit, which is a very weird outfit to wear just when you're going about doing things. Unless it's like some undercover thing they're doing in the episode. I'm not too sure. So if she is back to life, of course, it's going to open the door for some of the things like that to go down this season as well with other characters, whether they're characters that people want coming back, like a Jesse Quick, like a Harry Wells or something like that, um, or just like some random side character which works into an episode. Definitely opens the door. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention, which maybe, maybe potentially ties in some other time travel is that in this Instagram story, and I hate myself that I did not go back and get the screenshot when I could, because now it's off of Dan Danielle Nicolette's Instagram by the time I'm making this video, but this was a video. It wasn't a photo that she put on her Instagram. It was a video where she's moving around. And on the left, you can see like a wig here, which I don't know whose wig that is. It might be Allegra's. I'm not too sure. But further to the left, which I can't get now, which is really annoying because the, the story is gone. It also had Chester's future wig. If you remember when we went to the Armageddon timeline or like the reverse Flashpoint timeline in the Armageddon storyline last season, Chester had the really long hair like the dreads going on. They The, the wig was out here, almost as if it was going to be put on someone's head. I'd assume Brandon who plays Chester. 
So does that mean we're doing future time travel? Like, what? I don't know what's specifically going on, why that wig was out. It wasn't in the background, like on one of those things where sometimes wigs can be put out. It was on the, the front desk here, like near the, not the front desk, like the, the bench there, as if they're going to put it on someone's head. Random. I know... I know that means we're getting future time travel where, where the Chester this season randomly has dreads. I don't think we've seen any public photos of Chester on in a public set. So maybe he's got longer hair this season. Maybe the actor was like, hey, can I have longer dreads this season? Just like I did in the Armageddon stuff. They were out and about. So I don't know, just keep that in mind, I guess. Maybe Chester's going to have the long dreads this season. Or we're doing some future time travel where that character comes back into play. But it doesn't even mean that we're going that far in the future. We could might only go like three years in the future or something like that. And that's how things play out there. I'm not too sure. Just keep that in mind because I, I, it was there. Or at least it very, very much looked like the Chester Dreads from last season. But I mean, yeah, guys, that's all to go over in this video. If you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions about all this. Do you think Becky coming back means anything in regards to other dead characters coming back? Do you think it's a timeline change or do you think it's time travel? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.